CH people, Andy Simo. This is my first vlog. So, um, obviously things are a bit rough. The camera and sound aren't exactly the greatest, so you'll have to let me know if this is acceptable or if I should use a different form of uh, scene and the tools. But anyway, let's get on to it. This is the first vlog while still in Illinois, United States of America, and I'll be referring to this past Monday, the... February 12th, when we went to the bread company and spoke with Bill Daly. Anyway, here's the chow down. For our CHP class, we met with Bill Daly, food critic and writer for the Chicago Tribune. He discussed with us about how he usually tries to review anonymously, as it uh, gets a better sense of service for him. And we asked him about journalism, and he told us about what it's like to taste food and write about it. We went to the bread company where we ate a series of meals, courses prepared specifically for us. They were, as follows, a house-made chicken liver pate, a lemon garlic salad, goat cheese croquettes, I believe, smothered with honey and strawberries, a raclette, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, with potatoes and pickled onions, lamb's leg medallions with sautéed vegetables, and a pear walnut and cheese pizza. That was personally my favorite, but they're all quite delicious. Well, that was a synopsis of things, so let's get this show on the road and get down to the nitty-gritty, as it were. Let's talk specifics. Bill Daly was quite interesting to listen to, and he talked about how we taste food and the fact that it's a very much sensorial experience, if I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. But we talked about how the texture of food is, the uh, sense of it, the, the mouthfeel. He didn't use those words specifically, but... I think that's what I've heard about it. The the mouthfeel of the food, the texture, the taste, the smell, how it brings emotions out to you, memories you have of things. He talked about how writing food is really very much like writing about people or writing about places and experiences. It reminded me a bit of the uh, taste lab we did a few weeks ago. Bill Daly also joined us at the bread company and as we wrote notes on the food we ate there. Now. Let me break out my notes, and I'll tell you exactly what I thought about the bread company. Dark room lit with candles, paintings painted by the restaurant's owners, quite set the mood for the evening of fine dining. Now that the setting is, well, set, let me talk about the actual food. We got some notes here. Uh, chicken liver pate. Looks like chocolate ice cream. Smells like the meerkats at the zoo. Okay, I'm not quite sure what I was thinking there, but... Honestly, I'm used to the more German style of cooking liver, where you mash it up, put it into a dumpling, and stick it in the soup. And the pate did not taste like liver dumpling soup. It kind of threw me off guard. But it was still a, something new, something I hadn't tried before. Krispy Kreme donut. Oh, that was earlier. Oh yes, the lemon garlic salad. The thing I remember about the salad, initially I was a bit unnerved by the lack of color, the lack of decoration, I suppose. I'm used to salads with six or seven different vegetables on them. But then I realized the salad's not for the vegetables. The salad is for the lemon and the garlic sauce. I realized that after tasting it and finding the absolute strength of the lemon and garlic flavoring that went along with the smell that I had in the salad. What came after that? The goat cheese croquettes. Those were one of my favorite, definitely. I'm not used to having sweet goat cheese, but but it was quite good. We didn't take notes on this, though I remember best with the strawberries they provided for us, and I thought it was quite delicious. The goat cheese, the savory texture, earthy texture, I guess, umami, is that the word, of the cheese, paired quite nicely with the, the sweetness of the honey and the sweetness of the strawberries. Now on to the raclette. Fried cheese and potatoes and bread and a cornichon dressing, I think. I thought it was saganaki at first, or some sort of egg, but... No, it was actually a, a milder flavor of cheese than compared to the, the Greek saganaki that I usually eat when I go out and get, you know, fried cheese. But it was still quite tasty. It, I felt it was it went well with the bread that was served with it. It was a good bread topping, I guess. It's probably why it's milder flavor, so you can, you know, put it on something. Lamb leg medallions. I'm not a huge fan of just chunks of meat. 
I don't like steak. I don't like pork chops. The lamb legs, I mean, taste kind of like steak. I liked it. They were good, but not my personal preference. Though the vegetables caught me off guard because they didn't quite taste like I expected them to. Perhaps that was because they were dressed in the balsamic. So I tried asparagus for the first time for better than I thought it would be. The lamb, it was soft. It was tender. It was juicy and not too tough to chew. The texture of it was quite nice. So I appreciated that for sure. The pear pizza. This was my personal favorite. The flavor of the cheese, the savoriness of it. With the, along with the prosciutto ham, the uh, the walnuts, which added a nice crunch and extra surprise texture. And the slight sweetness of the pears, I thought was a really interesting way to make a pizza. I did not think I'd like it at first, but it was pretty good. Favorite course that I had that day. So that seems to be about it. We talked to Bill Daly, his anonymous food reviews that are not anonymous when he gets published how to taste food, smell food, the texture of it, how to really appreciate it. Oh, photographing food. We talked quite a bit about that, too. You have to get natural light. Obviously, I don't have natural light. I live in the basement of a dorm. There is no natural light anywhere. Hopefully, that'll be different in Italy. Photographing food, writing about food, tasting donuts, and then tasting the bread company. It was... A very unique experience, I must say, because I've heard that we're going to be eating for hours in Italy. And considering that eating at the bread company about two hours passed by without me even realizing it, I was impressed. I didn't expect that to happen. But it did. And the food was unique, to be sure. Never actually had liver outside of liver dumpling soup, so that surprised me. I was surprised by the almost sweetness of it. The croquette was... I liked it. It was more of a dessert, if you ask me which is surprising as it was the third course served to us. And then the raclette was milder than I anticipated, but still quite good in its own right. The lamb legs were probably my least favorite dish, honestly, tied with the pate. Don't get me wrong, they were still very good, just not exactly my fare. But the pear pizza, probably my favorite. If you ask me, nothing tops a bunch of cheeses stacked on a slice of bread. It doesn't, doesn't get better than that. It was an exciting meal, an interesting way to experience it, and the focus I had to put on the tasting of the food, I think, made the meal all the more enjoyable. This being the first vlog, hopefully it's up to scratch, and if there's any changes that need to be made, please let me know. And please don't grade me too harshly on this.